99 miles of trail and river crossings and passing people and getting past and eating every 30 minutes and grit and everything that goes into the day, you know, never would think it would really come down to the last mile. When I first started trail running, I had always heard of Western States, and in addition to it being this incredible historic race and ultra, and you know, really the birth of 100 mile races, it was also kind of always like the highest level of competition. And you know, to really prove yourself, that's that's where you go. 2017 was my first year at Western States. I showed up at the starting line without a whole lot of expectations for myself, and honestly, a bit of imposter syndrome just standing on the starting line with so many strong women and I managed to finish fourth. Came back in 2018, um, finished second um, behind Courtney. You know, when you finish second and you want to improve your time, you also hope that you can um, improve your, your finish place too. So that was definitely a goal. Came back 2019 hoping to use what I had learned to improve on my time. The race started off really fast and it was a cool year and I knew that was going to be honestly a bit of a challenge for me because I'd done so well in the previous years where it was really hot and that I think generally just means people are running faster so I was okay with letting the field gap out a little bit at the beginning because you can never control anyone else's race and I knew that the splits I was running was you know, well within reason for me but also still ambitious and would be my fastest finishing time. So I was trying to place myself in a good position so that I could chase hard in the, in the end, really, after the river. Last year you did an hour six. Good job, Katie. Good job, Katie. Thank you guys. Go get it! Woo! Good job. Go, Katie! Good job. That's a horse. She's run. Thanks, guys. Here's the plan out. Here's the plan out. Thank you. Good job, Kaylin! 
Water on your left, fuel you on your right, gels below you. Yes, I do. Great, thank you. Good job, Kayla. Awesome, Kayla. Yeah, you got this. Nice job. Right. Third place is only 20 minutes ahead. Great job. What are you going to need? Uh, so, everywhere? Uh, not my head. Everywhere else. Yep, you got oh. it. Looking great. Thank you. Okay, front and back. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I remember crossing the river and hearing then at that point that uh, Courtney had dropped from the race and Claire came up, I think, to take the lead. And at that point I knew like I was in I was in a pretty good position there and that if I was able to crank that I would, you know, be relatively close within striking distance of those girls. But I made some mistakes at, in that later later 20 miles of the race and I think at that point that's when I was realizing I just wasn't really having the race that I had had at previous years at States, which has always been kind of a strong finish for me and I was struggling. There's a lot of race that happens before mile 99 at Roby Point and I had laid everything I had out there on the course. You know, you get to taste the finish line, see it's, see it's almost there. Never would think it would really come down to the last mile. It didn't exactly end as I thought it was going to. so 
well up the hill. Yeah. It looks insane. Bottom 99. Yep. Yep. Are you okay? Yeah, we're good. The one's behind us. We got this. Hold on. Yep. Got it. You get it. Yeah, we got you covered. We got you covered. Good job. Okay, you got this. You got this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
So that last mile at Western States uh, didn't really pan out how I had envisioned it happening throughout the day. And that was honestly <laughs> challenging, but I think sometimes it's the moments like that that really reignite the fire and make me think back about why I love the sport and why I love running. And I think was really a step forward for me in figuring out what I want to do next with running. It may have been the last mile at Western States, but I think it was really just the beginning.